I will tell you how to do duck sizing in the rabbit 2017. So let's follow. So before starting the duck sizing, what we have to do is uh, if I will uh, highlight one of the ducks over here and press tab one time and two time, it will select uh, air terminals and ducts. So I just need to left click from the mouse and it will select the whole duct. Uh, then I have to go from modify multi select tab, I have to select filter. And from here, what I need for duct sizing is uh, duct fittings, ducts, and flag duct. I don't need air terminals, so I will just keep that from here. Say OK. Then uh, under uh, modify multi select tab or duct system tab, you will find this analysis. Under analysis, you will find duct pipe sizing. So you have to click this one, then you will find the uh, sizing method you can size on the base of velocity and friction so I will select velocity and friction it's a general rule for the design for uh, fan coil units we need 4.5 meters per second is the maximum velocity we will not exceed in the ducts more than 4.5 meters per second so I will select here 4.5 meters per second and friction and the maximum friction that is allowed for fan coil unit is 0 0.40 pascals per meter so I will select 0 0.40 pascals per meter so just need to change this velocity as a design velocity of 4.5 and a friction is 0 0.40 pascals per meter and select ok so as you can see duct sizing is done but still we need to modify our duct as you can see this uh, one piece of duct we need to convert this duct or split this duct into different pieces because there is a one branch here, one here and one here so if you will go under uh, modify tab you will find this uh, split element you have to uh, select this one and you have to split this duct into different pieces after branches click here then click here then click somewhere here ok I will convert then press escape to cancel the command ok uh, one thing you can do is you can perform duct sizing on single piece of duct also for example if I will select this duct piece and I will do the pipe sizing it will perform the sizing same method 4.5 meter per second velocity maximum velocity and maximum friction is 0 0.40 pascals per meter say ok it will reduce the duct size again you can perform duct size here same method say ok again here the pipe sizing same method ok ok if you will select this duct it will say 275 by 275 and normally you will not see this duct size these are coming in the E1 number so we just need to convert this into standard sizes so what I will do I will if I will if I have selected this piece of duct ok and under property palette if I will go down and see how much is the flow mechanical flow 174.5 meters per second ok 174.5 meters per second how much is CFM it will be 369.7 that is 370 CFM ok let me open this duct size or two for you ok how much 370 CFM 370 CFM uh, if you will convert this uh, into inches of water column the head loss it will be 0 0.05 to the maximum head loss in the fan coil units and it will be 10 by 10 ok so 12 by 9 that is give one number over here that is 10 ok now we are good you see this head loss 0 0.05 this head loss 0 0.03 that is calculated head loss is less than our specified head loss so we are in the safe range with 12 by 10 inch duct so we can use 12 by 10 inch duct 
it for 370 cfm for this okay i will select this piece this piece and this piece 12 by 10 is nothing that is 300 by 250 so we are good with this piece okay if i see is this stuff it's 350 okay you no problem 400 400 okay no problem Again, this 425 by 425. This is not a standard piece of duct size, so we need to change its size. How much it says mechanical flow? Mechanical flow. This 698 meters per second. Okay, let me convert 698 to so it become at 1478.97. Okay, go to duct sizer again. 14. 79 okay 0 0.05 is the head loss say 20 by 14 or 22 by 22 by 14 okay 22 by 14 we are good or 20 by 16 20 by 16 okay see this calculated head loss is 0 0.038 this is less than our specified head loss 0 0.05 so we are in the good range so 20 by 16 we can use 20 by 16 is how much 20 cross by 5 that is 500 by 400 so we can use 500 by 400 instead of 425 by 425 500 by 400 ok so we are good ok similar method i am going to apply for the second machine i need to hover my pointer in one of the duct it will highlight and press tab once and again press tab it will select duct and diffusers select it with the left click of the mouse then go to filter uncheck air terminals say ok again go to duct pipe sizing Velocity is 4.5 maximum and friction maximum 0.40 pascals per meter. Say OK. OK, again done. Now, again I have to split this duct into different pieces because uh, one uh, piece, because after every launch we need to convert this duct. OK, uh, le let me go to modify tab again. Here you find split element, select it. Click here. Click it. Click here. Click it. Click here. Click it. Okay. Press K twice to cancel the command. Again, you will select this piece. Do the sizing. Say okay. Again here. Duck sizing. Okay. Again, select this one. Duck sizing it okay okay so that sizing is done over here similarly whatever the size i have selected over here even number of sizes i need to select or oh, because the standard duct size 350 by 200 because the same uh, cfm or liter per second of the machine same capacity machine so same duct sizing okay i will do the same for this one that is 300 by 250 select this one change this one to 300 by 250 ok similarly how much we said over here for the last step is 500 by 400 I think yeah same so to make this one 500 by 400 ok so this is how you have to do duck sizing in the rabbit video I will tell you guys how you can calculate uh, duct size using a duct sizer program so there I have opened uh, a duct sizer program provided by the network so for the duct uh, sizing you must give this input like the uh, flow rate and the head loss in order to get your duct size so for example uh, from the heat load calculation uh, I have calculated uh, CFM uh, 600 like 600 cfm for the particular room 
and I want to calculate what will the duct size that is coming out from the machine. So for this purpose of 600 CFM from the supplied data sheets, let's say we have selected a ceiling ducted uh, fan coil unit FCU. So if we will go and uh, give our CFM of 600 over here and uh, we we'll move to the head loss of second input. Uh, just uh, keep in mind that uh, for the head loss for the fan coil unit it should be less than equal to 0 0.05 inches of water column per 100 feet so this is your design value for the head loss head loss should not exceed 0 0.05 inches of water column per 100 feet so that you will not get noise, is noise issues in your duct okay we we'll give this input of head loss 0 0.05 inches of water column per 100 feet now let's move to this duct size and if we we'll say 1 over here and uh, it give the uh, it will give the value for the other for example this is the width and this is the height if i will change this one to 10 let's say 10 is the width and uh, 15 is the height so one thing you need to remember that for the duct size you always need to get uh, even numbers in the duct size you will never see the odd number in the duct size like 13 inches by 15 inches or uh, 9 inches by 15 inches because this is a standard so you always have to use even numbers in the duct uh, and second thing you have to keep in mind aspect ratio during duct sizing what is the aspect ratio aspect ratio is basically width to the height of the duct and uh, what is the best aspect ratio best aspect ratio is one ratio one let's say our duct uh, width is 400 and uh, duct height is uh, uh, 250 so i told you aspect ratio is width to the height of the duct so width is 400 height is uh, 250 let's say 400 divided by 250 so what's the aspect ratio 1.6 so that's not so that's not bad that's good uh, and uh, what is the maximum allowable aspect ratio maximum allowable aspect ratio is 4 ratio 1 don't uh, exceed this uh, more than 4 because if you will exceed more than uh, if you exceed 4 then what will happen uh, you will get uh, noise issues and uh, more friction losses inside your duct so maximum allowable aspect ratio is 4 ratio 1 so let's move and change this uh, size to 12 uh, as you can see 12 by 12 we are getting the uh, 1 by 1 aspect ratio but as you one thing more we need to see over here this is the calculated head loss that is 0 0.05 inches of water column per 100 feet and what is our specified 0 0.05 so just keep in mind this calculated head loss should be less than our specified head loss so we still need to change the duct size over here so what we will do we will change this to 14 let's say 14 by 10 0 0.05 is still more than this so we'll change this to 16 16 by 9 so we don't want an odd number as i told you before standard we have to give even number so let's change this one to 10 inches so this is the one second 600 105 let's change this one to 10 so as you can see the head loss calculator over here is 0 0.04 that is less than our specified head loss 0 0.05 inches of water column per 100 feet so this duct size is perfect to you to over there so what would be uh, 16 inches by 10 inches 16 inches that is 400 mm and 10 inches is uh, 250 mm so what would be the aspect ratio in that case 400 divided by 250 that is 1.6 so aspect ratio is good no problem but sometimes you have to play with this aspect ratio because uh, of the ceiling issues ceiling height issues sometimes ceiling height is very less for uh, let's say the ceiling height is uh, uh, 500 mm 500 mm so you will keep your duct height may be restricted to 200 mm or 250 mm because you need to give space for the other services to pass through like uh, if any sprinkler pipe is passing over there or any chill water pipe uh, passing over there you need to give space to that service too 
so and from here you can change the units too from metric to IPS yes units so this is how you have to cal you can calculate the uh, duct size using a duct size program I hope you guys like this video please like comment share and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks bye bye